Three, two, one. What was modernism? Well, I've always seen it as a sort of, I don't know, I suppose a sort of belle epoque type thing. You know, it was a, it was a, a wonderful period of experimentation, you know, uh, where um, artists invented new techniques, they new te materials, um, and probably a lot of it was probably driven by the invention of new materials, you know, the camp, well it was actually, the invention of the camera, um, oil paints and tubes so artists could actually go out and do things, um, compressed charcoal and um, manufactured basically art materials and things. But um, I mean, I, I, I always see it as starting around the mid 1800s and petering out sometime in the late 70s, early 80s. Um. What was modernism? Well, of course, many people will begin to answer that question by uh, talking about painting and literature. And they'll talk about new ways of thinking about time, new ways of thinking about space, and questions of realism and figuration. But my approach has always been to this question of modernism to frame modernism in the broader context of the history of modernity. And for me, modernity is about uh, another set of transformations that are economic, that are broadly social, about the democratization of culture, that are also about the ability to see your own world represented and represented. So this Heidegger talked about the era of the world picture. And for me, one of the most powerful things about modernity is the distancing of the world as an experience so that people actually started to imagine their world as if it were a representation. So things that I like to talk about when I talk about modernity are things like wax museums, which are new in the 19th century. Uh, I like to talk about the history of photography, panoramas and dioramas, which were very realistic. Uh, kind of entertainments, which uh, in a sense are the precursors to a lot of the Disneyland rides that we see today in theme parks, both at Disneyland but elsewhere, where again, real life experience is simulated. And to me, the kind of natural height of this experience of modernity and the taste for reality as a representation is the development of film in the late 19th century and the early 20th century. And of course, most people when they think of modernism, are not really looking for realistic narratives like the movies. They're thinking about Duchamp, they're thinking about Picasso, they're thinking about Impressionist painting. But what I think is really important is also to see the corollary in entertainment culture, in commercial culture, so I think modernity includes the history of things like posters and new forms of technology like the four color poster, the great master of the poster is a French guy named Jude Chéret, who did amazing artwork that was also a form of advertising. So I think what you also see in modernity is the commercial aesthetic, which I think is something that we don't really have too much of before modernity, but that I think what characterizes modernity, rather than think of the avant-garde, is actually to think of the mainstream commercial culture. What was modernism? <laughs> that. <laughs> it was a rubber bitch. Uh, modernism was... Uh, ooh, was it modernism or modernity? Because they're mm. two different things. Well, exactly. Yes. Um, modernism was, I would say, um, a set of historical attitudes and a set of ideas about the world and how the world developed that happened in a particular era that was only possible within a particular era. The big question is did it ever stop? The big question of postmodern versus postmodern. There are many people that would say that it did, um, just as many that it didn't. But in any case, I would argue um, it was a set of attitude that included art, certainly, but included literature, film, so forth, that over overlapped. Uh, that uh, you know, roughly one can say started with uh, modernization, the introduction of the factory, the, the, the rise of the big uh, capitals, um, uh, industrial centres like London, 
Paris and so forth, and that ended with the World War Two, with the sort of wake up, um, which uh, sorry, World War One and World War Two, which sort of made it very clear that that sort of project can lead to uh, mass death, genocide, um, and destruction on life of life on an unprecedented scale. So I would say, yeah, in short, it was a um, series of um, attitudes. What was modernism? Okay, so I gave this some thought. You said you were going to ask me this first. And, and so then uh, what I wanted to tell you about was my, the way I encountered modernism, while I don't know definitively what I think it was or what I believe it was, I don't think I have any uh, concrete, conceptual understanding of modernism. But obviously grew up in England around modernism and around what you know we we think of visually as like the big concrete tower blocks that went up and all these sorts of things and uh, and just by I mean by way of accident cultural timing I mean I, I grew up when artists were starting to appropriate and that would then grow through the 80s and but for me I'd also although I became an illustrator at one point I went to school to be an illustrator because uh, in art, that was for our family. That's what, how you get, how you got to get a job. So, what are you going to do? And, you, and so, illustrator is an art job. So, I thought a lot about commercial art. Didn't think anything. I didn't, have, you know, judgment one way or the other. And at the same time, I think I was learning about and introduced to modernism with the records. So, as I was saying earlier, do you get this in your camera? Is that in your in your shot? Okay. So this is this is a, an album. Uh, by the damned, and it's called um, Music for Pleasure, but it's Kandinsky on a cover, yeah? So, and on the back, you got the distill movement. And I didn't know this, I did start to go to museums as a, as a kid, going to, and, and go to the Tate and places in London, uh, and that, uh, you know, that I would see the works, and, and maybe, I can't remember which way around it was. Did I see the Kandinsky first, or did I see the damned record first and yeah and and references to pop and you know even sort of 50s record covers and this this was a particular designer that I used to collect his records and the original imprint of this out of and there's a lot of humor in this stuff too yeah I mean that's an irreverent approach to go and take Kandinsky and turn it into a punk record album cover you know but it also kind of I mean that that talks about that's a demonstration of how like for as a little kid back then this is you know that's a that's a sizable piece of art so what was modernism and what's the impact on your work if mm. any okay i i don't really think um it's possible to make work without having a relationship to modernism um too many of the central uh, approaches uh, the, the ways that we even think about what it means to be an artist are tied up with that whether we like it or not. I think that there's, there's aspects of how we think about what art should do and uh, what it might be that uh, it's not that they linger, they've never gone away. Um, mm. For me personally, um, although the angles and the facets that are on my paintings, they don't refer to Cubism. Um, I'm a huge fan of Cubism um, because it changes the nature of how we think of what art does. It doesn't show us a picture, it shows us a way of thinking mm. about something. <clears throat> and I think that's that's a, a crucial turning moment which has led to the developments in uh, later modernism and certainly uh, impacts and, and, and uh, influences what we see being made by anyone, anywhere, all the time. I don't think there's a way out of that. Mm. Um, the only things that one can do if, if we talk about aspects of postmodernism um, is Critique some of the the fundamentals um, and approaches of modernism, but I'm not. But you're still involved with modernism. What was modernism? Okay, Kit. Um, so, modernism, as I understand it, in my very basic understanding, would be it was a sort of response to society around this time. Um, you know, with things like industry moving forward, um, huge changes in architecture. Um, our world was changing quite rapidly, and it was sort of our response to this. Um, I feel like it was, um, you know, 
like loads of aspects of our world have been quite radically revised, like nature and science. And so we were like in art, when you think about it from art, like we were sort of moving away from the the sort of mystical and we were moving into the factual. And um, you know, it's it was modernism was, you know, sort of showing progression in everything. And uh, you know, when you look at it in in art, artists were it was more like a sort of sensory response as opposed to a figurative one. And I guess that for me is how I feel about modernism. <laughs> is that okay? Um, and my very first question is well. Yes. You ready? Okay. You good? I think I've got an answer. We'll okay. find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was modernism? Um, I like what was modernism. Mm. That's interesting. I was expecting what is modernism. I like what was modernism because that that really explains how I feel about it. Right. Like, it's a was, this past. Um, uh, notion and I, was, I actually I actually had to go back and do a little bit of thinking because I haven't thought about modernism ex outside of architecture or um, uh, design I haven't really thought about it since school and um, which is kind of funny because it's a lot of my a lot of my work um, the actual source the beginning of is is a really modernist thing um, so, modernism uh, to me is, and it's that um, movement away from you know first the church and the like getting a, getting away from a patron um, and into this art for art's sake kind of idea and um, and then moving into f like formalist um, critique which. I you know would, now I feel is kind of like a problem that we've we are held on with like this, that that's kind of the remnant of modernism that like they were they were really against an, an academic idea and now modernism is our academic idea that we have to fight against so what was modernism what was modernism <laughs> um, it's a very complicated question. I think everyone has a very different take on it. And of course, there's many stories. And then actually, more importantly, I would stress there are many modernisms. Yeah. Um, what was modernism? Um, modernism was an, an historical moment uh, in a global context where uh, some cultures, the cultures of what we call the North Atlantic, Aryan North Atlantic cultures, uh, Europe and America, uh, actually confused uh, technological and scientific progress with moral development and moral progress and tried desperately and sometimes effectively sometimes less effectively to uh, paper over the huge gulf between the two. What was modernism? That is a great question. Um, honestly I don't know. I mean, I don't think about that. I, I know that it was... Uh, right, maybe I need to start again. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, let we, me are, we are specifically talking about modernism in terms of art, though. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. So, so like, like, no, I, I certainly do not. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do, you, do you want me to ask the question again? No, no, no. I, I think that's, you know, I think I can attempt to sort of think about that. I don't normally think about that that often um, what I will say the only way that I, I know how to really think and talk about it at the moment is uh, when I was on my way this morning I spoke to someone saying I was going to do this and they said great get your grid on right and I thought that that was really interesting a really interesting way to talk about sort of modernism because I tend not to think about it so much in the studio um, even though I think that it informs so much of what we do, but just that easy sort of great get your grid on made me think about it in the way that I tend to deal with it. And mostly it is about the grid, right? And, and the application of the grid in artwork and the, the offness, the rigidity, the formalism, the strangeness, and just the idea that that is important and how that functions in what we do. What was modernism? <laughs> Who would have known you're going to ask that? <laughs> right. 
So modernism, to me, I sort of always like to link these move these movements and modernism for me as an artist mm. to to the way society was going, and everything I think that I am that came from modernity from modernism was sort of in step with the industrial revolution um, mm. and the throwing off of the old very sort of um, laboured slow way of making images um, a lot of rules about how to make images very realistic everything of realism the idea that you are copying um, you sh that humans were showing their brilliance by copying the natural world around them and then the industrial revolution came along and they discovered what iron ore could do what they could smelt and what they could uh, mold how quickly they could use technology to create cameras that that got rid of the need for all of that stuff and modernism became more about uh, a way of defining what it is to be a human and not as a not not as a, a mirror for the natural world does that make any sense at all that's great <laughs> <clears throat> did, is it did, right? Is it right, Kit? What was modernism? And what does it mean to you? Well, that's way too simple a question yeah. for a very, very broad term. Yeah. Uh, and and it's m most simple. I associate modernism with the desire to distill. Uh, well, just talking about modernism in art to distill art to a kind of pure form that is uh, self reflective that doesn't elude that it, it doesn't uh, it's not re representational of something other than art yeah. uh, that I would say that that's that's my most broad understanding if I was going to try to get to, to a nutshell yeah. of what modernism is there are so many offshoots um, that we still think of as as, as uh, say movements within modernism that that stray pretty far from that that preset and Sean, my first question is, what was modernism? What was modernism? Well, I mean, I guess it's a tough one for me. I don't feel like I'm, I'm qualified to really answer it uh, from any other perspective but a very personal one. So, so here it goes. I guess, I guess technically it's a response to modernity on a number of levels, you know, from like these creative pursuits. So uh, I was always interested in how human beings um, up to this point where society becomes so kind of accelerated and complex respond creatively in whatever way through through the arts and um, you know um, different kinds of activity but I, I was I was always thinking that you know it was uh, this challenge for artists to deal with the modern world say um, in that industrial era or post-industrial now um, and with the the kind of challenges that we have with technology because for, for, for this this period of modernism you know it's almost like the world uh, is happening faster than our senses can kind of process it and art takes on this role where we're really having to kind of question that immediate environment um, through practice so it's a it's a pretty exciting phase um, of course modernity is a bigger question I don't know when that's going to technically start um, or w when it even ends um, because I feel like we're still within the kind of um, ground of, of um, modernity so uh, you, you can't have anything after. I guess we've got postmodernism, and then people come up with theories like ultramodernism. It gets really complex. I'm, I don't want to go there. All, all I all I know is that um, for me, a kind of pre-modern thinking is like say maybe chop it, chopping some vegetables with a knife, and then um, modernism comes along, and it's like trying to work out what what a blender is. You know, because you you, you need it to kind of happen quick, and you want that smoothie, and um, yeah. There's a lot of people <laughs> watching. I'm kind of getting a bit nervous, man. Can you cut that out? What was modernism? Uh, well, I'm going to do the postmodern thing and say there's maybe a problem with your question, Excellent. which is um, the was. And I think that uh, that's in a lot of debate at the moment as to whether or not modernism is a particular historic era or something that is an idea which can continue and take place at any point in time. Um, I think the jury's still out on that, but if we are to think about modernism as a series of ideas, then I think it can and has occurred across time, and I think the benefit of thinking about modernism like that is to remove it from a certain type of Eurocentricism that places London and Paris at the heart and start of what we now think of as contemporary visual culture. So I see modernism in a much broader movement of 
not only industrialization, but I think actually the effects of the population center moving from rural areas into urban populations, urban centers, which we now have the majority of the world's population lives in, in the city rather than in rural areas. And I think the cultural consequences of that, of that shift, is what I would say is the dominant factor of modernism.